in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed as this comes upon the heads of many in the name of Jesus Christ I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that they will bring supernatural breakthroughs supernatural freshness supernatural grace by the power of the Holy Ghost By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Lift your voice and begin to pray. And say, Lord, as this oil comes upon me, something must break loose in my destiny. Are you praying? As this oil comes upon me, something must break loose in my destiny. Shabbat are you still praying? Lord, I'm tired of stagnation. I'm tired of hardship. Keep praying. Lord, my heart is open. New dimension. New dimension of fire. New dimension of illumination, new dimension of victory, new dimension of grace. Don't don't start applying it yet. What tired of the status quo? It's gotta be. More than gotta be more than me. Gotta be more than me. Hallelujah. Now listen. I want you to know that this is not an ordinary oil it has the power of God what you do is just pass it to the first person you just touch it and then begin to make declarations and prophecies we'll do that very quickly so that we'll finish up because there's there are still some other sessions and our time is already gone hallelujah it's gotta be more gotta be more father let there be all kinds of miracles and breakthroughs as your people encounter this oil in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead. Just tap it, lay it on your head and begin to blast in tongues. Go ahead, everybody. You can put it on your hands if you want to, but go ahead quickly, quickly. Just pass it round, pass it round quickly. Make sure there's enough outside, please. Let everybody get it. everybody. Go ahead and pray. Make decrease. Make decrease. Believe what you are doing, make decrees. Bible says, Believe in the Lord and you shall be established. Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper.
those outside, are they, do they have the oil? Please let's save time very quickly outside. Make sure you're speaking. My life will never be the same. Please rise up everybody. Let's pray for one minute. Ask the Lord to visit you and speak to your situation. Go ahead. Please pray. was here kneeling with a child. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a family that came here. A family that came here. I think this, this has to do with sickness. This is a family. Is it that you brought somebody or I'm seeing sickness and infirmity? Please quickly, let's save time. We have, we still have a lot. Hallelujah. Stand up, sir. Where is your wife? I'm seeing a lot of witchcraft and I'm seeing oppression in your life. I don't know you. I don't know if this is your first time coming here. But the Lord wants to bring a visitation to your life. Please believe me. The Lord wants to bring you a visitation. Memuna. I'm hearing the name Memuna. Memuna. I'm hearing a name. I don't know if that's someone's name or that's someone's name. But I'm hearing the name Memuna. Lord is ministering to me. I don't have to call your case, believe me. The atmosphere that we're in is enough to bring us that breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hearing that name, Memuna, I'm going to pray for you. Is your wife sleeping? Please let her come. I just want to minister to both of you. She can return back to the car. Memuna. Mommy. Where is the woman with a prayer house? That mommy. Please make your way to the front. The Lord is saying I should minister to you fresh grace. Quickly, quickly, please. Where is that person? this young boy what is this that I'm seeing I'm looking at this boy and I'm seeing snakes all over him this is what I'm seeing it came from you to him please collect this child let me minister to this woman please don't bring anybody out until I tell you to bring them out why are they here Memuna is that your name help us with a mic please huh This little girl, how can such a little girl be so oppressed? They are sleeping, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this oppression leave this lady now. Mommy, I'm going to pray for you. You are stepping into a new level of the prophetic. Your eyes will be opened in a strange way. 
in a very, very strange way. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord standing close to you and pouring like oil. This is what I see happening to you. Like oil being poured upon you. And the Lord says, I should tell you, you are stepping into another dimension. A strange dimension of grace. Lord, make this happen by your grace. A strange order and a strange dimension of grace. Madam, where are you from? Madam, where are you from? Because I'm seeing, I'm seeing serious oppression and attack. It's not just on your baby. This thing, you are the one who really needs to be free, not even the baby. You get the point. But you have calm down now, madam. Let me talk to you. I'm seeing you in the spirit. There's no mic. Okay, that's all right. I'm looking at this madam in the spirit and I'm seeing you fatter than this. I'm seeing what happened. You were sick. Even now. I don't even know that I'll come out. This is what I'm telling you because I'm looking at you in the spirit and the weight I'm seeing is not the same with what I'm seeing right now. That's why I told you it's not the issue of your child. What is happening is simply translating from you to the child. Come, sir. You and your lovely wife. The Lord is bringing breakthrough. Breakthrough. Tremendous breakthrough. Do you believe, madam? Do you believe that? Where do you walk? Are you walking? Where? Sterling Bank. It won't be too long. God is going to take you from that place. You know this now. You have been preparing towards. Yes. Is that not true. Uh, because I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a referee. Like a, you know, when it's almost time in a football match. This is what I'm seeing. Your time there is almost up. And God is going to lift you. I prophesy it in the name of Jesus Christ. And I'm declaring that let this happen. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is need to pray for your child. Um, I'm looking at this child and I'm seeing something like symptoms of fever, temperature. We have to pray for him. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Everything that is not of God upon this child. I take authority over it in Jesus name. Madam, the Lord says I should tell you that he's bringing you into a season of favor. Please, I want you to believe me. I don't just talk if God has not told me anything. Do you believe? Father, bring this family into tremendous realms of favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Why am I seeing Memuna on your head? Are you Memuna? That's your name. Come. You too, you are Memuna. I'm seeing a name written on her head and I'm seeing Memuna. Is that your name or is the name of someone? And I will restore. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, He can restore the years that the canker worm has eaten. Huh? Two things. Number one, your relationship with God. Huh? You can't be one leg in and one leg out. You get what I'm saying, right? Leave all those friends and focus. Use this night. Let this be a night of determination in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, let her be free. Mama, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cause sickness. I cause infirmity. I'm going to pray for the sick. But then I cause sickness from your body. In the name of Jesus. And every act of witchcraft, I take authority over it in Jesus' name. I lay my hands upon this baby. What's the name? What's your child's name? Madam, what's your child's name? Destiny. I lay my hands upon destiny and I speak to you. Be made whole right now from every infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, be prayerful. Yeah? Be prayerful. There are some things I cannot show here, but you see, let me speak in parables. You cannot come and collect my thing and pretend not to know me. Are you getting what I'm saying? You cannot come and collect my thing in the secret and stand in the secret pretending not to know me. It's very important. Be prayerful and he is either Lord of all. He cannot share his glory with any other people. You get what I'm saying, madam? The Lord is going to lift you and take you. Please, I want to pray for your children because the devil wants to oppress them. This is your child. 
Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, this is spirit. Let her go now. Out! By the power of the Holy Spirit. Madam, I pray for you. I'm seeing three babies. There are some women here. I'm seeing a woman particularly who came here specifically for the issue of fruit of the womb. Please, who is that person? I'm, no, you are not standing for anybody. You came for yourself. Who is that person? Let me just minister to the person very quickly. Please, let's save time. Fruit of the womb. Because the Lord is showing me, I just had the cry, three babies. Congratulations, madam. Where is she? Your name is glorious. We lift you up higher. There's somebody here. You are here with five broad. Right now, as I'm talking. Great wisdom for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ha! Ah, I see the healing angels. Stepping into this place. We we'll begin to minister to the sick proper now. I don't know why God does it. But he's going to do it again in a strange way. The anointing of God is going to come upon a lady. And she's going to shout. That loud shout will usher in the coming of the healing anointing. Please don't ask me why this thing happened. Your name is glorious. We lift you up higher, higher. Your name is glorious. We lift you up higher, higher. Your name is glorious. If you're sick in your body, please make your way to the front right now. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Everyone begin to pray, Lord, touch me. Please, if you're sick, just, just give them way. We're going to minister to them very quickly. Everyone will be touched. Everyone will be blessed. that's the end of it my dear that devil leaves you forever never to return never to return listen i want you to know that jesus heals here we have a track record by the grace and the mercies of god i'm going to minister to you very quickly so that we can speak specifically please make your way to the front just organize yourself and um, bring the lady. Where's the lady under the anointing? Case here. Yeah, I know. Eh? Look at, let me just calm down. I'm seeing something very funny and interesting here. Watch this. This woman, I'm looking at her and I'm seeing a corpse. I'm seeing somebody they have already buried. You see her? This woman is almost quarter to go. I mean, it's not clear there, but there's almost nothing here. Bones. Watch this. Um, the spirit that wants to kill this woman is in her son this boy standing it's not like it's the boy that wants to kill her so they went to consult with somebody and they went to consult with somebody this person is like a herbalist and he told them this is the boy that wants to kill the madam he got it wrong because his understanding is limited it's not like the boy wants to kill her but the spirit at work in him is what is tying her both of them this is the spirit of death she would have died on the 22nd of this month 22nd she would have buried her it would have been over she would have stopped talking from 19 and died on the 22nd God, you are higher than any 
Sing it like victorious people. I got Into voice and say, I got his greater. Hey. I got his stronger. No one you are higher than any other. My God is leader. Awesome and power. I got, I got. So let's, let's pray. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I set this boy free from witchcraft by the power of the Holy Spirit. I cause that spirit that is responsible for tormenting this boy. Who speaks that now? Mama? Kiberta? Liva? Yeah, Kiberta. Batu Fadiba. She looks like a full of human. She understands how that. Father, in the name of Jesus, perfect her. I curse this spirit. I take her out of these dungeons of death. Right now. belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god hallelujah the last and greatest session of this meeting is where i begin to prophesy that's where people receive Guest breakthroughs and testimonies. We may not be able to minister to everybody one by one, but I want you to know that God is going to bless you. Peter Adola is going to come up, and for the next 10 minutes or so, he's going to lead us through a dimension of worship and praise unto God. And the moment that happens, I will come back and we'll take up the last session with prophecy, and then we'll take a few announcements. We are done. Everybody give Jesus praise as we celebrate him. Father, we love you. Father, we love you. Father, we love you. And we've come to let you know. Father, we love you. Oh. Father, we love you. And we're going to 
say I'm desperate. I'm desperate for you. Say I'm desperate for you. I'm desperate, desperate for you. Say I'm lost without you. Say it. I am lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. There's no me without you. There's no me without you. Say it. No me without you. There's no life without you. There's no life without you. Oh, Lord, I'm desperate for you. I'm desperate for you. I need a touch. I'm desperate for. Oh, I'm desperate for you. Desperate for you, Jesus. I can breathe without you. Desperate for you. Desperate for you. I'm lost without you, shame. I'm lost without you. Without you, say I'm lost without you. Church, say I'm lost without you. Now say I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. Never rain on the brothers' water. Say I'm lost without you. Cover us with the grace. <laughs> Say, I'm lost without you. Let it rain on your presence, oh God. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. We give you all the glory and the honor and adoration to your holy name. Yes, I'm lost. Break every chain, say it. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Woo! Say it. Break every chain. 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 Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Come on, say, break every chain, break every chain, every chain, every chain. I see the chains are broken now. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. Say it. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every. Say break every chain. Say. Oh ho ho ho. Break every chain.
your voice, just everybody. The clap said, oh, oh, oh. to be mild, be gentle, say Just 
Just leave him there, please. It's okay. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We have a few minutes and then we are done. I salute everyone. We'll have the last prayer session and then I'll just prophesy and speak over our lives. So can we all rise inside and outside? I will praise the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. I will worship Him and give a praise to Him alone. He who was and is and is to come, I will sing before His throne forever. You're holy, holy, yes, you are holy, holy, hallelujah, mighty one, Psalm 66, verse 3, please, our last prayer session, I'm going to be praying. And we are going to be making decrees and commanding our lives and destinies. He told Job, has thou commanded thy money? Or are you just allowing it to happen? Believers have authority, but we must put the authority to use. And then we compel these powers to submit. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy works. He says, through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. I want you to believe in the prayer session we're about to have right now. Very brief, but very impactful. And I want you to pray and pray like your heart depends on it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, when Moses began to advocate the release of the nation of Israel, God's covenant people into their promised land. 
When the pressure got so much, Pharaoh negotiated. He said, all right, let, we have a deal. The men can go, leave the women and the children. Leave the factors that represent the continuity of that race, the women and the children. Let the men go because he knew they would perish. And Moses said, no way. We're going with our wives, our children, our cattle, and everything. So we're going to pray. The Bible says, now Abraham was old and well stricken in age. And it says God had blessed him in all things. Not some things. All things. It's, it's possible for you to experience breakthrough and advancement in one area of your life. But then you are tied in another area. Second Kings chapter 5 tells us about a man who was the captain of the Syrian army. The Bible says he was a great man. He did exploit, fought valiantly, but he was leprous. So we want to address those buts, those situations in our lives. Yes, you have done well, you are anointed. Yes, this and that, but there are certain areas. It must be total victory. Rise up on your feet. I want you to shout it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. Oh, come on, Koinonia. Say in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I come against every power that attempts to fight my destiny. In the name of Jesus, I declare release of every other area of my life that is under attack. And I declare this morning that it is my time for breakthrough. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Shabarata kataba. Lift your voice. Come on, pray, 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 people of God. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Mention the areas in your life that are pending, that need the breakthrough hand of God. Mention those areas specifically. Please lift your voice and pray. Take this session seriously. We're almost done. Are you praying in the name of Jesus? In the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Pray for every area of your life that is yet to experience breakthrough. Decree and declare that after this vigil, you will begin to experience breakthrough in that area by the power of the Holy Spirit word of the powers of hell standing against our lives and destinies are you praying are you praying are you praying when Moses finally convinced Pharaoh to release them, watch this. As they released them, while they were going, the Bible says they met a Red Sea. So they had left Egypt, but there was a Red Sea in front of them. Are we together now? And the Egyptians were back to capture them. And they began to cry. And in Exodus chapter 14, Moses said, stand still. Stand still. He says the Egyptians you see today. Oh you may have seen them for 430 years. But today the Egyptians you see today. He says that you would not see them. And then he said Moses. Verse 15 now Moses was crying before God. And he said why will you cry? Tell the people to move forward. Make advancement. Listen. This prayer we are going to pray is important. Because many of us, this prayer will supply courage. Hear me. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward in business. It's time to move forward in your career. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are going to pray and say, Lord, everything keeping me down. Maybe it's the failure of the past. Maybe it's the lies of Satan. He has lied to you. Maybe you have fallen again. You entered a relationship. It did not work. You have refused to enter another one to get married. You did business and it did not work. And the devil is stopping you from moving forward. You, you tried to give birth and you had a miscarriage. 
but right now he said tell the people to move forward the signs do not go before you they follow you when you take the step of faith god is ministering to someone it's time to get back the anointing is still there where you fell is where you will rise and excel the anointing is still there lift your voice and prophesy i'm moving forward go ahead and pray pray in my ministry i'm moving forward i refuse to allow challenges and limitations stop me inside and outside i'm moving forward in every area of my life you wanted to start a building project a challenge came and you have refused to move forward you tried to get admission you tried once twice it didn't work listen it says tell the people to move forward koinonia i announce to you an anointing by an encounter with power is upon your life to begin to move forward now prophesy lord i'm moving forward i break those barriers i refuse to see challenges that project is doable the project is doable the marriage is doable come on pray now the ministry can rise it's achievable it's achievable it's achievable i may have been thrown down once but it is achievable there is still an anointing hallelujah hallelujah my bible says there is hope for a tree even though it be cut down samson was a mighty man of power but for some reason he was anointed to be the judge over israel and for some reasons he fell into the trap of a woman called delilah and that trap costed him his eyes they plucked out his eyes and they shaved him you would have thought that would be the end of samson once a giant the one who threatened the philistines the one who tore a lion and brought honey out of it the one who removed a city gate god is ministering to some people here you have tasted power and honor but something happened somewhere and brought you down but tonight god is speaking to you that there is hope for a tree you can rise again when they took samson and they took him to the temple and they were mocking him before our god he prayed a prayer he prayed a prayer of restoration that lord this one last time let this anointing come upon me and the bible says he pushed he killed more people in his death than he did in his lifetime can i tell you something you should know the difference between failure as an event and failure as a person we live in a generation where every time you fail there are so many people coming to prove to you justifying their prophecies are you getting me now you start a business or a company it fails and everybody tells you you see you start a ministry genuinely called by god no growth there is failure and people tell you stop wasting your time a gentleman gets up and says i'm going to get married and no finances no resources no job and everybody tells him you'll be a failure or maybe a student you went to the board and you saw that you're on probation let me announce to you tonight that it is never over until you choose to give up are you hearing what i'm saying i won't give up no i won't give up i'll keep pressing on till my answer comes i won't give up lord i won't give up i'll keep holding on my change comes i will never forget our first crusade 
our first crusade in Joss, you would have rated it maybe a failed crusade because they were not people they were not much we saw miracles we saw mighty things but the people were few we were stranded listen a crusade would happen the crusade was to start by 5 30 as about as at three o'clock the car was still spoiled we we're still on our way going i'll never forget the driver tried and tried and tried we didn't even have enough money we just had enough money to take us there how we were going to survive are you getting what i'm saying listen when you see a successful man don't just celebrate the stories ask the person for the pains and the scars successful people are those who have forced any closed door to open they are not those who do not have challenges are you getting the point now i will never forget that crusade was powerful immediately after the crusade the sound guys were standing 150,000 were to pay them it looks like child's play now but then it meant a lot because even if everybody in the ministry then came together would not be able to solve it but we knew that God sent us I knew what God had told me a great crusade the first crusade we did not even have we could not rent video cameras I'll never forget the humiliation that I went through from the sound people it was, it was such a bitter humiliation those people frustrated my life literally because I could not afford it I'll never forget one doctor in chemistry department on hearing on this situation she took 5,000 and sold it as a seed it was a disaster I would have easily given up and said that's it Lord no ministry again imagine the millions of lives within this country and around the world who have been blessed by this ministry if I had given up at that point God is speaking to someone Peter tried to catch fish all night nothing happened he would have packed up successful people are those who are audacious don't mind the mediocre around your journey to success they will always wait there to make you feel like you're a failure they will always make to claim their prophecy is self-fulfilling when you succeed i guarantee you every one of them will change their report about you nobody has time to celebrate you on your way to success but when you arrive the worst that can happen is that you can be criticized but no man can deny that this is the finger of god I remember Dr. Paul Enenche, 99, right? When they went to Abuja, him, his wife, and two pastors were staying in one small room. Not by will. That was all they could afford. You would have called them failures. Do you know what it means for a man married with his wife and you cannot afford a house? You carry your wife and two pastors You are staying in the same room. But that's what it's been called today. Listen, I want you to know right now, we are going to pray. You are going to challenge your fears and challenge your limitations. Those voices that have spoken to you and made you feel that you cannot become anything. They may be the voices of good people. They may be the voices of sincere people. But I come to prove them wrong. Lift your voice and pray in the name of Jesus. Everyone shout it in the name of Jesus. I'm determined to succeed by the anointing of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus my failures of yesterday will not stop me from achieving the breakthroughs of tomorrow I receive courage and fresh grace to face this mountain and to surmount it lift your voice and pray grace oh God Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Shake it, take it, take it, take No weeping and just for a night. Joy comes with the morning. No weeping and just for a night. The Lord is speaking to you. Joy comes with the morning. You didn't get the admission, but it does not mean it cannot be gotten. The marriage didn't work out. The travel abroad did not work out. It does not mean you cannot travel. The business did not work out. It does not mean you are a failure. You may not have money now. 
you may not have connection now nobody may recognize your anointing but keep pressing keep pressing Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are still praying. You are going to pray and cry for supernatural persistence and endurance. Listen, let me tell you. You can ask every one of the ministers here. Barak who ministered and Peter Adole, Manasseh, Pastor Alpha, ask all of them they will tell you stories and episodes of endurance listen there was a time in my life i was tightening and i was giving nothing was happening are you getting what i'm saying any man that just tells you it just happened like that lied to you i'm telling you there are seasons in your life where it looks like your heavens are closed although they are not closed are you getting what i'm saying nothing like a result is happening you are planting, bearing precious seeds. But nothing is happening. As a man of God, you know the anointing upon your life. While you are laboring in the spirit, nobody is recognizing your grace to invest in it. You can be a great worshiper. And for many years... You may be moving around crying for just one open door but the doors may not open listen to me you can be a lady pretty and virtuous you've done everything you need to do in your strength sincerely speaking you've done everything you know a woman should do to be prepared for marriage before god and men everyone knows truly you are prepared for marriage all the demons to be casted have been casted out. But no man is coming. And vice versa for a man. You may graduate with a great degree. You have served. You've even complimented on your degrees. Submitted CVs. Let me tell you something. In every man's life, there are seasons of persistence and endurance. I want you to know this. Don't let any man fool you. God is a God of speed, not rush. God does not rush. He brings speed, not rush. There are seasons where you are proven. The Bible says John remained in the wilderness until his season of appearance. There is something called a man's season of appearance. You can manifest before your season of appearance and keep struggling trying to find relevance. Years ago, he may remember, we went for a meeting in, in Kaduna, a very powerful meeting and when we went there there was a man of God who was supposedly a bishop there was nothing bishop about him when you launch yourself without your season of appearance the man was there and after the meeting I, I could not even figure one person who came to say kind man of God you blessed me the bishop was there moving around no friend no car no nothing we went to the restaurant. He just sat down somewhere and was just taking his power horse. Nobody was even encouraging him. And I said in my mind, Lord, if this is how it means to be a bishop, I don't want. This honor, when God blesses you, he brings honor with it. When you launch yourself, you will keep floating, looking for relevance. I'm speaking to many of us here. We are at the verge of breakthroughs. Keep holding on. There are times you don't need to do anything new. You just need to keep doing what you are doing. Because what you are doing is not wrong. If a baby, we have a few babies around here. If a baby suddenly decides to take one drum of breast milk, that baby will not suddenly get up and become an adult because he took breast milk. If an old man starves himself to die, he will not suddenly become young because there was no food. Are you getting what I'm saying? And Jesus grew. He didn't become. He didn't jump. And Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and with men. Life is in dimensions. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And there are times in your life you will need to wait. Listen, you may be a man of God 
anointed it is true that god has spoken to you about ministry but for now all you'll be doing is cleaning tables be faithful you must receive grace for endurance because let me tell you hope defers makes the heart weary the heart of man is is, is very fragile the moment you wait after a season of practicing kingdom principles and you don't see results naturally speaking naturally speaking fatigue will come in you're going to lift your voice are you still tired we're rounding up this is a very important prayer point lift your voice and say after me in the name of jesus Say it again in the name of Jesus. I receive grace for endurance. I receive grace for persistence. I receive grace for resilience. I will wait. I will be patient until my season of appearance. Lift your voice and pray. Patience, O oh God. If you turn aside in the day of battle, it says your strength is small. Lift your voice and pray. Persistence, persistence, endurance in prayer, endurance in obedience. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points. The Bible tells us that a virgin called Mary was just minding her business one day. Suddenly an angel appears to her. Listen. Appears to her with a prophetic message. Thou art highly favored. Blessed are you among women. And she wondered what salutation this was. And the angel began to tell her that she was going to carry a baby. And she said, how shall these things be? I know not a man just like God is telling you the same you who is standing one day you will own your television station and the world will be watching you and you look around and say how shall these things be and he said the power of the highest shall overshadow you watch this the moment God told Mary because her life at that time was an unusual life and then the angel recommended her to Elizabeth. Somebody who was carrying the same mystery and the same vision. You will never make it in life if you are the only one who looks like you. There must be people around your life that can identify. No matter how mystical the instructions are, there must be somebody around your life that can say, although this looks strange, I see that the hand of God is upon it loneliness in destiny has killed many people they are carrying visions they they have no other shoulder to lean on and mary went to elizabeth every other woman would have said you are very stupid tell us the rabbi you slept with that you are lying that a spirit got you pregnant but she went to a woman who had been barren for a long time so she's in a position that can identify with these kinds of supernatural things watch this and the Bible says, as soon as Elizabeth, Mary and Elizabeth saw the babies, the destinies in their wombs leapt. You need people around your life that can look at you and say that 300 million Naira project is doable. How much do you have? 10 Naira. You say, yes, I was once like that. You need people in your life that can be crazy enough and you say sir i'm trusting god for a house or a car by the end of the year how much do you have two thousand he said you are even better than me when i was about to buy the car i had 500 naira suddenly you know you are not alone there is nothing as encouraging as finding a madman like you somebody who can agree with you and say it is doable it's a dangerous thing for a man of god 
dangerous thing for a businessman dangerous thing for a destiny shaker to be around people who do not have any experience that can engineer faith in you are you getting what i'm saying that you come and say my sister i want to share with you something don't be afraid though say what is it say do you know i don't have a womb and the lady will not say ah what is all that say abba your case is a simple case there was a woman like that it's not just that she didn't have a womb in fact her own was a, a bad case but she had twins you see that that's elizabeth you need to call for elizabeth to your life because many of us are about giving up on visions that are of god but there are no motivators there are no people to tell you it is doable who said you can't start a bank everybody say bank what nonsense are you talking about somebody tells you you can do it you can do it you can start the bank you pray them into your life are you getting me there are ladies right now this is august but you heard from god genuinely and you are trusting god to be settled by december you, if you meet a wrong person the person will look at you and say i have what nonsense how many months will it take for traditional marriage how many months will it take to raise offering uh, sorry to raise the uh, raise the money for the marriage how long will it take do you know how much wedding gown is do you know how much it means to rent a house do you have 1.5 million all those devilish things you need to throw those people away and meet somebody who tells you i i met my guy in october we married by december 15th it is possible lift your voice and say in the name of jesus i call forth to my life the elizabeths of my destiny say after me in the name of jesus i call into my life my destiny motivators may they come to encourage me in the name of jesus lift your voice and pray we call for the elizabeths we call for the elizabeths we call for the elizabeths men and women of similar vision men and women of similar passion men and women of similar vision men and women of similar passion hallelujah lift your hands everybody as I prophesy to us please I want you to receive it receive it with all your heart and receive it with a loud shout of amen the Lord gave me a revelation on the creative power of prophecy and we've had all kinds of humbling testimonies he said son of man can these bones live and he said only thou knowest then he said prophesy speak to these bones speak to these situations as far as I am concerned there is nothing called impossible not when God steps in it is impossible when there are men but not when God steps in I pray for you right now in the name that is above all names that every door that before now has been closed over your life and your destiny by the anointing of the Holy Spirit return to find that door open now I prophesy it upon you return to find that door open in the name of Jesus Christ I speak over your life where your strength is limited you have done everything you know to do I'm declaring upon you right now let a fresh anointing take you through the remaining part of the journey in the name of Jesus Christ where your human strength has stopped may an anointing come and pick you up in the name of Jesus Christ when Jesus was about to start his ministry a voice spoke no matter how anointed you are it will take somebody to announce you please listen I show you a mystery no matter how anointed you are a midwife although she's a midwife she won't deliver a baby by herself when it is time for her to deliver she will need other midwives no man can bless himself no man can endorse himself 
are you hearing what i'm saying a voice had to be spoke out had to speak from heaven and say this is my beloved son and he commanded the world to hear him lift your hands let me speak over your destiny your destiny remains grounded until a voice can speak in the realm of the spirit a simple prophetic word but it's a profound law i'm praying for you right now by the anointing of the holy spirit everything that has covered your glory everything that has covered your your gift and your potential from being seen desired and celebrated i speak right now is your time for celebration i speak right now is your time for celebration I speak it to you right now. It's your time for recognition. It's time for your gift to be noted. It's time for men to pay attention to what you carry. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I call for the helpers of destiny. The wine pressers. The bakers. Those who will speak to the king on your behalf. I call them into your life right now in the name of jesus christ i declare upon you that all the years that the canker worm has eaten all the years the palmer worm has eaten what you think is forgone what you think is a waste i'm prophesying to you right now may there be double restoration may there be double restoration double restoration I pray for every family represented here in the name that is above all names not only will you receive visitation I release visitation to families 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 in the name of Jesus let there be visitations may the Lord wipe the tears of families in the name of Jesus Christ every project you want to embark on these hands that are lifted I put an anointing upon it and I force it to prosper in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ everything your hand embarks upon in the name that is above all names may you prosper in it in the name of Jesus Christ I speak over your finances listen when you are not empowered financially you will be limited in many ways there's no long story about it hallelujah cry yet say in Zechariah 1 a thus saith the Lord my city's true prosperity shall be spread abroad and I will yet comfort Zion it takes finances to fund your assignment it takes finances for you to move forward lift your hands I pray for you in the name of Jesus every power limiting your finances every power limiting you from obeying the principles that bring increase i set you free from it right now in the name of jesus christ every spirit of greed that keeps you in poverty and penury i set you free from it right now in the name of jesus i'm prophesying upon your life by the mystery of divine supply in the name of jesus may god send into your life people opportunities and resources in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for your spiritual life after spending time praying and waiting for eight hours in a vigil in the name of Jesus let fresh fire come upon your spiritual life fresh fire come upon your spiritual life many of you will return back and you begin to see dimensions you never walked in suddenly activated in your life in the name of jesus christ i pray for every church and every ministry here grace to step into the next level of impact grace to step into the next level of impact in the name of jesus christ i release a breakthrough anointing upon every endeavor of your life beginning from this morning let it begin to speak in the name of jesus christ lift your hands and worship the lord give him praise hallelujah hallelujah let's take the following announcement and we're out of this place we thank the Lord for strength 
for grace to stretch it through. Now, please listen carefully. I want to announce to us that next week is going to be a very special program here. It's the practicum of our School of Ministry students. Hallelujah. I think you should celebrate them. If you don't know what it's all about, I want you to come. That means our students will be handling the service. Everything from beginning to end will just be here supervising and assessing them. Um, you will be mightily blessed. Please invite all your friends and everyone to come around. Time is 6 p.m. Exceptional voice training school. A voice training school belonging to um, one of our people, David Dam. Where is he? Where's David Dam? Okay. That's his voice training school. And um, it's only for singers and vocalists. The admission form is 200 naira. The school fees for admitted singers is 4,000 only. Interested persons should meet him immediately after the service. Believe me, he's a fabulous vocalist and um, he's done a lot in the area of um, vocal proficiency and he's ready to invest and pour into many people. So make sure you are part of it. Project 10,000 is still on. Please be part of it. If you are not, there's free but limited um, bus transport immediately after the service. Those going to Shika and Congo, please wait at the projector stand outside. You can book for your counseling. Sorry, I was not around last week for counseling. But you can book right after the service for your counseling. Be, remember, be reminded that all bookings stop on Sunday, 6 p.m. And then messages will be sent to those who are booked. Please, if you wait till 9 o'clock or 9.30 and you don't get an SMS, you can call the protocol line. The ushering department, um, Komoda Joseph DK, should please meet the ushers to collect his school ID card. If you're here, meet the ushers for your ID card. And then this goes to everyone who has misplaced any item in the course of the service. Please, you meet the ushers. The Conference of Nigerian Christian Engineering Students Concerts tagged engineering in all aspects of life is holding a program today the 8th of august time is 9 a.m the venue is the new engineering lecture theater faculty of engineering featuring academic academia engineering in industry leadership entrepreneurship um, ministers will be engineer abdul malik courage professor ibadun i'll be ministering there too and engineer emmanuel obeka so you're invited, especially for those who um, are engineers or engineering students. The prayer department invites the house for her prayer meeting at Rema Chapel on Tuesday by 4 p.m. Hallelujah. Please take note of our official lines. You can use them. Department of Protocol and Logistics, they have two lines. And then um, the media department, you can also have their details. If you do not have this, it's free. You can pick up one with the ushers. Hallelujah. I want you with an ovation to celebrate those who are worshipping with us for the first time. If this is your first time here, please make your way to the front everyone who is worshipping with us for the first time. Koinonia, keep clapping. We're almost done. Do this for them. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Celebrate them. Please make your way to the front no matter how far we want to pray for you and bless you. The Lord brought you by His Spirit. Keep clapping, Koinonia. Thank you so much for coming. The Lord brought you by His Spirit to lift you. We honor you and we thank you for coming. Hallelujah. Wow. Let's celebrate our mommy, Mrs. Ono. God bless you, ma. Just voted her. Hallelujah. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Thank you for all the people who are here. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for coming and worshiping with us. This is Koinonia, a meeting put together by Eternity Network International. We're here every Fridays, and this was a special vigil, a special program. I know that your life will never be the same in the name of Jesus. We have a prayer and a blessing for you, and we want you to receive it with all your heart in Jesus' name. Stretch your hands, saints of God, and let's prophesy over their lives. We speak over your life that is from glory to glory, that you have come and spent time in his presence, I declare that you'll never be the same in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You're experiencing the power of God in your life. Beginning from today, the evidence of your coming here will show. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every challenge you came here with, we declare that it becomes a testimony in the name of Jesus. We bless you with fresh hunger for God, fresh hunger for the things of the spirit. May you go back and experience the honor of God upon your life in unprecedented dimensions. If you have been running, go and begin to fly. In the name of Jesus, you will move at the pace of the spirit. There's no limitation upon your life. We bless you. We release upon you the blessings of this house. Let everything you do and touch prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. Now, we just request you to do just one thing before you come back to your seat. Um, there are people who will welcome you more warmly, will have your details and will communicate just a few messages to you and you'll be back to your seat. Thank you very much. I just Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.